Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this, the Porsche Macan S. Now this is the S which means that it has got a lot of oomph. That is a regular Macan which means it has got the smallest engine in the Porsche family. That happens to be a four cylinder and we are inside the car. And seat is a bit too upright. Now the car is on. Beautiful interior, looks really nice. Like a million buttons here. Now the Macan doesn't get everything digital. There are a lot of buttons, like insane amount of buttons here. And we need to get into drive. We need to get into, okay, parking sensors are activated, into car. Okay, we just get into Sport Plus here. All right, here we go in the Porsche Macan S, which is powered by a six cylinder engine. This one produces around 360 horsepower. And right away, let me tell you that even though there is some amount of roll on offer, you really can't feel it. Accelerates very briskly. And the car ahead of us, right ahead of us, that one is the Macan with the base engine, which happens to be a two liter from Audi, which uh, is the smallest engine in Porsche's family. Anyways, here we are into first gear right away motor revving nice and hard and here we get into the gas yeah some amount of understeer because four-wheel drive obviously but accelerates very briskly and obviously this car doesn't feel like an suv in terms of driving ability because it kind of feels like a sports car because that's how well porsche has managed to make it a handling vehicle and uh, there are the coins and here we go onto the throttle a good amount of punch on offer in fact the punch is so good it is reeling in the car ahead of us so we will just back off a bit it says all wheel drive here love the tackle in the center here we downshift into second and we redlining it all the way it goes 90 kilometers per hour in second by the way the good thing here is that the tachometer which is in the center which takes center stay is really nice in fact that is the only element of this vehicle rather over here which happens to be analog now i'm not really going to push this car much okay there you see the cone here we go onto the throttle one cone two cone and <laughs> a lot of cones flying over there so here we are let's get into second gear yeah we are in second quite agile the motor is not very loud so it's not like obviously not a sports car but by suv standard it handles brilliantly well just look at the poise all right roll very well contained yes there is some amount of roll but good amount of grip around the corners and i mean the steering offers so much feel as well driving in sport plus right now you can just change the dial over here on the steering itself and it absolutely screams near the red line now, obviously it red lines close to 7000 rpm which is quite exciting and punching it hard and fast there it goes through the curves and rather through the chicanes and you can hear that as well so as you can see the porsche macan s is obviously a very fun to drive car practical cabin loads of buttons a million buttons here on the center console and good amount of punch it's a car which will actually make you smile through the corners because that is the level of grip that it offers you can see yeah little bit of tire noise but for the most part it has great balance i mean the chassis is very communicative the steering offers good amount of feel as well and every time i hit the transmission i realize that it's very responsive as well so obviously pdk transmission which is offering good amount of downshift whenever you need it and uh, obviously upshifts are also super quick so agility tick practicality because of an suv tick and now we're going to jump into the macan the regular macan with the smaller engine and let's see if we can keep up with the panamera which is right ahead come on yeah so that is the end of a lap around the bull circuit and i'm kind of sweating right now because it's hot but the car is so comfortable and easy to drive even with these massive wheels obviously ride quality is great so a big thumbs up to the macan s rather macan s 360 odd horsepower i believe which is uh, good enough for a car of uh, this size now this is the updated macan it's not the next generation this is the first generation of the macan but here the thing is the interesting bit is that uh, porsche has let go of the diesel so there is no diesel macan anymore which is kind of disappointing because trust me trust me on this people in many places like india and europe love diesels and a diesel car is more practical for an suv but diesels are bye bye thanks to the vw scam how was the drive? You look traumatized. Everything good, everything fine. All right, here we get into park. And that is the end of the drive with the beautiful Porsche Macan. The interior is like designer work. And there are like a million buttons. It's taking five years to just understand what these buttons are for. Like the buttons are like endless. What do we have here? Oh my God, that is a cigarette lighter. I thought that would be eject button. You know, open this, press the button, eject, and you can eject out of the car. Because it's a performance I wish I car. I could press it. Just 
the car. You can't eject me out of the car. Anyways, let's put it on sport mode for the person who's coming next. And let's get out of the car. Let me quickly show you around. So, oh, it is hot. The color is really nice. The rims on this vehicle, 295, 35, 21s. Massive. Love the design, of course. Love the car. I mean, it looks very slick. Interior is nice. So many buttons here also. So you get the perfect driving position almost always. And uh, Porsche has written here. You can see 911 also has similar type of lights. Porsche logo here. So definitely a great car. And that one is going to be next. All right, we are driving this, the Porsche Macan. Now this is not the S. So obviously we get, actually we get very big wheels here as well. 260 by 40, 21s. Car looks really nice. This is the one I drove previously. This is the S. There's a regular one. Let's get inside, two liter engine. Produces a modest 250 horsepower. Interior is as special as ever. All right, interior is really very slick in Porsche cars. And uh, air conditioning is on full blast. So I'm going to turn that off right now. All right, before we get going, let's put it into Sport Plus. We are getting off in the Porsche Macan. Now this is a regular Macan, not the S. Smallest engine ever in a Porsche. I don't know ever or not, but certainly right now in the lineup. Two liter engine, TFSI motor, comes from Audi. Produces a modest 250 horsepower. And as soon as I get out of the pit lane, I am going to match the throttle and let's see where it goes. And yeah, you can see that progress is kind of slow, but I would pick up the diesel although. <laughs> All right, wide line people are taking here. That's interesting. Roll is very well contained, but of course there is roll and the motor doesn't really have much punch, but I love the way it redlines, goes all the way to six and a half thousand RPM. Still, it feels more sports car than SUV, although it's very capable off-road as well. So Porsche has done a great job. Let's get into manual gear shift. Here we are into first gear, wide line, and now I'm going to mash the throttle and here we go. Yeah, through the shakings. Okay, it could develop more power, but then smallest engine, the Macan S was more than enough. Honestly, if you need more punch, go for the Macan S. Great pull, goes to 160 without a fuss. Here we are through the problems, no problem. There it goes beautifully poised through the corners. Of course, it's a Porsche, so the DNA is very much into it. And uh, this is based on the MLB platform, which happens to be the same platform, which also underpins the Audi Q5. Downshift, give me downshift. Here we are. PDK transmission is really very, very, very fast, but I'll take a manual shift any day. Breaks off a good bite, of course. And uh, here again, let's see how it performs. So, getting in and hard onto the gas, beautifully poised. The chassis is so communicative as well, and of course, works brilliantly too. But here, I'm not lifting off, I am just going flat out. That is how <laughs> rather underpowered it is, but no, it's not really underpowered for two liters. It's of course brilliant for the kind of weight it has on offer definitely it is brilliant down shifting it's more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast car fast because there's so much to play with like i'm so chilled right now i can have i can be having a coffee right now and still driving that is the level of chill and i'm on the ass of the panamera 4s which is right in front of me so that is how good this porsche magan is certainly a great car definitely offers good amount of driving feel as well like see the steering is so freaking communicative it's just so responsive yeah there is flex obviously there has to be flex with that much amount of weight being carried but i am absolutely chilled carrying all these speeds here what a beautifully balanced chassis suspension is stiff obviously it is stiff we are on the stiffest mode possible right now the only thing is psm is turned on which is posture stability management or please save me which is actually of no use if i turn it off also right now it's not going to do anything because there's just so much grip on offer from the four wheel drive system it's not going to go and put any wheel wrong that is the level of grip on offer from this vehicle and obviously the wheels are not going to get overwhelmed because the level of power 250 horsepower is not really going to scare you silly but for daily running for driving in the city there's just ample amount of oomph and even for indian highways you would never ever wish that you had more power although I'm already missing the Macan S with a six cylinder engine which produces more punch, but then I'm always greedy for more power. How was the drive? We had fun. It was all fine until the power. Come on, we all need more power. I did not sign up for this. Oh, you did. Anyways, guys, I had a splendid time driving this car, even though I mean it's just a two liter engine, it still can be so much fun. Well, our next drive is going to be in that car the Panamera 4S 2.9 liter engine let's see what it's got if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up that's the like button and also subscribe to the channel 
I will see you guys in the next video real soon. You can give a thumbs up. You can pretend to act cool and everything. It's very nice. Okay, she's giving thumbs down, thumbs down button. Madhavana. And uh, this is actually the button to... Uh, actually, it's not the button. It's the key. You have to insert it and turn on the vehicle. It's so cute. I love the key on Porsche cars. And uh, yeah, this is one of the cars you can just walk out. You don't have to bend. You don't have to worry because everything is just so smooth. So refined. Lovely lights here. And it might remind you of the 911. And of course, you get a front parking camera beautiful vehicle even the stocks here are so nice in fact space at the rear is kind of generous but it's not too much obviously this is a Macan not a Cayenne and it is so hot continuously running lights which has now become a Porsche trademark dual exhaust here on the bottom yeah they look massive but the opening is not that massive and there is my second love the Macan S and you might ask what is the first love well it has to be the 911 it has to be the freaking 911 it is such an awesome beast bye bye